How goes it, YouTube? Today, I'm coming to you with the product review on the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, which is 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. Now, this clay needs to be paired with apple cider vinegar, which the apple cider vinegar clarifies your scalp and causes the moisture to be locked in. And you also need to put an oil, such as a carrier oil, like almond oil, grapeseed oil, or any other oil. You need to apply hot water. And this particular clay comes in a powder form. So now when applying, when mixing the clay together, you need to use about three to three and a half tablespoons of clay, rather the powder into a cup or a bowl. Then you need to put the apple cider vinegar into it, or just water is up to you. The apple cider vinegar helps with the hair, so I'm using five tablespoons. Now again, it varies on how much you would want to use because it depends on the length of your hair, the thickness of your hair. And my hair is on the longer scale and it's in between, you know, it's in between, it's like medium thick. So now I'm adding a half of the third of hot water and I'm mixing it up. So you want to make sure you're using hot water because this particular product is requires hot water when applying to your hair because it helps to make the mixture more smooth. Now, the bentonite clay, it draws out toxins in the hair and pulls out the impurities so that when you rinse out the clay, it takes it all with it. And it also does not strip your hair whatsoever. So you know what, it's paired with the apple cider vinegar they are, they're both clarifying agents, so when you mix them together and you put in your hair, it's getting rid of all the toxins and impurities in your hair and causes your hair to be clean, and it doesn't strip your hair whatsoever, and it retains moisture so that it opens up your cuticles so that after you're done rinsing and washing your hair, then you put whatever moisture or your conditioner, whatever you're applying afterwards, will lock into your cuticles so that your hair will stay moisturized. Now, I'm not going to really separate my hair in really big and really small sections. I'm only using portions of sections because I'm just applying it on the ends. And you, as you can see, it'll be in my hair. I'll probably put more so on the right side because that's where most of my damage is more so. Like where I have trouble is on my right side and in the back of my hair so I'm putting more clay on that side than the left side so as you see I'm distributing it I'm putting some on mostly on my hair and you'll see a little bit on my scalp not so much because you know as you put it through it'll go through your hair Now, this particular clay helps with frizz and or flyaways, as you call it, and promotes shine so that your hair won't be so frizzy and you won't have little hairs wanting to wave at people. It also, excuse me, this particular agent is, agent, oh my goodness, this particular product is, it is a protein base. So it has protein, calcium, silicone, sulfur, and iron. So it's going to help your hair be stronger. So you know what? I wouldn't use this. I probably use this once a month and not so much every week because of the fact that it is a protein treatment and certain people don't need a lot of protein. And I do other things as well of protein treatments, which I do like... I do mayonnaise by itself or I do milk and eggs. It just varies. So I'll probably do a video on that as well, on what I do with the mayonnaise to show the difference in my hair and how it looks with the products. Now, this product and, of course, the apple cider vinegar in this product also alleviates, you know, scalp issues, like people that have bad dandruff, So as you can see, I'm just applying and applying this product more so on the left side. I'm sorry, the right side than the left, as you can see. I'm making sure I get all the way to the roots. And when applying this product, you do not want the product to get fully hardened. 
So you're going to have to apply a cap so that your hair won't be so hard because you want to leave it on for about 5 to 15 minutes depending on the person. So when you apply the caps, it causes the heat to retain and keeps keeps the product moisturized. You probably get like maybe hard around the edges, but that's about it. So I'm using two bags because I have a lot of hair and my head's big, so I need two bags. So when putting this product, you want to just make sure you leave it in not too long so that it get, doesn't get hard. Because you know that it's not really good for your hair when it's going to get hard. And you could also use this on your face if you want. But I don't put oil on my face because I have an oily face. So now I'm about to go and rinse my hair out. And in about 5 to 10 minutes... I did it about, I did it at like 15 minutes to be honest because I, I, I forgot. So 15 minutes I rinsed my hair out and this is my results. So my hair is soft. It, I had brushed it out after the fact. I had detangled it afterwards. So it's really soft and I can see the shine in it. As you can see if you look, it's shiny. And my curls, well, I have waves and curls in the back, and they're defined. So this was actually a good product. I used Head & Shoulders to wash the product out. I just did one wash. I did a three-minute for Panty Pro-V. And I also did it, um, the Hydration Acne Berry Smoothing, Frustration Soothing Hydration. I mixed those together and put it in my hair. And yeah, that's what I used. And I thank you so much for watching. You can leave your comments down below. You can subscribe. Hit a thumbs up, thumbs down. It's up to you. I right, again, I thank you so much for watching.